What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Wide Body Nation. We've got major problems with the Charger, Challenger, and Chrysler 300 production for the month of January. So as we talked about in a previous video, just because these plants are back open doesn't mean they're not going to experience you know, delays, shortages, or even total shutdown due to supply chain issues, due to certain suppliers not being able to to fulfill those little nicks and knacks. In this case, semiconductors are short and creating a plant shutdown. So the Chrysler plant in Brampton, Ontario, Canada, which you can find here on the FCA Fiat Chrysler Automobiles website. Here's some info on the plant. It employs a a little over 3,000 people, but it is in fact the plant for the Chrysler 300, Dodge Charger, and Dodge Challenger. Now, about in the past five, two to five days, there's been multiple articles coming out, one here from the local Brampton paper, one here from Autoblog, and then a couple other ones that have been sent to me by you guys in the Wide Body Nation. So we're going to jump into it, see what's going on, see how much our orders are going to be delayed, and kind of what what's going on and what you should do if you're thinking about ordering buying selling everything that has to do with chargers challengers and 300s we'll talk about that in a second quick reminder we are on our way to 5,000 subscribers at which time i will give away these apple airpods pro a 250 dollars value all you have to do to enter to win these is hit the subscribe button turn it from red to gray and that automatically enters you to win We'll go ahead and draw those on a live stream at 5,000 subs. So what is going on here? Well, basically, there is a semiconductor shortage. Now, the semiconductor is, let's, let's jump in, a little definition here. Now, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a super nerd on these kind of things, so that's why we're looking up the definition. So a semiconductor is any class of crystalline solids intermediate in electrical conductivity between a conductor and an insulator. Semiconductors are employed in the manufacture of various kinds of electronic devices, including diodes, transistors, and integrated circuits. Now, obviously, after reading those two sentences, we can see why a shortage of those may have a significant issue. I mean, anything from the wiring for your car to the actual chips and diodes, I mean, these cars, they're like, they're computers on wheels and there's so many parts, especially the more complicated your car, the more you got, you know, if you get a sunroof, if you get the nicer sound system, you got heated seats, you got cooled seats, you got adaptive cruise control. I mean, this, this GT right here has that sensor in the front that means that they've got that extra, you know, adaptive cruise control and some of that other technology. All of that has semiconductors associated with it. And unfortunately, it's not just a shortage that's slowing things down. They've actually confirmed that Chrysler on the 8th let employees know at this Brampton plant that it is going to be closed for the duration of January. Now, that gets into the ordering process and supply and demand, right? So we've already established that demand across the board is super high for chargers and challengers. It's decent for 300s, but we're gonna talk chargers and challengers mainly, especially wide bodies here. So with my order, I am fortunate in some ways and, un and not fortunate in other ways. One thing that is fortunate for me is that my 2021 Red Eye was completely assembled, allegedly, according to Dodge, has been a completely assembled since mid-December and it's just taking forever to ship to Nashville and then to the dealership. So I've got an update video for you guys on that. Now, if your car, like mine, was already assembled, I'd say early January or before, you've got a chance that it's still gonna be getting shipped out from the factory because from what I understand, shipping is not impacted by the shutdown. It's more, you know, let's say your car is about to roll off the line, but they just got to install one or two more things that have semiconductors in them, that's where it's going to get held up. Obviously, if your car has not been built yet, or if it's very early in the stages, a plant shutdown is obviously not good either. So basically, if your car is already built and on the way or in a warehouse getting ready to be shipped, I think you're good. That's the situation I'm in. However, if your car, if you already ordered it, but it has not been you know, D1 gate lined at least, you're probably gonna suffer about a three week or more delay, depending on how quickly they ramp this thing back up in late January or early February. Now, the third category, should you 
or if you're going to order a wide body scat pack, challenger, charger, a red eye, a super stock, just a normal Hellcat, if that's even possible anymore, which I got a video coming out on that because it's not. What should you do? Well, there's kind of two, two, well, there's three, three ways to attack that. One is just basically get your order in as soon as possible, kind of like I did way back in September when we didn't know anything about production times. Get, you know, the method, the, the reasoning would be just get the order in. Okay, if the plant's closed, the plant's closed, but at least you'll be further up in line compared to someone who maybe waits till February, March, or April to order. That's, that is one way of thinking about it. And probably the safest way of getting your car probably on time as, or as soon as possible. Except for choice number three, which we'll get into. Choice number two is basically wait until more information comes out. Say maybe you wanna wait until early February when new incentives come out and you know those power dollars might refresh, they might get bumped up, they might get bumped down. That's more information for you to see trends. Obviously tune in for those videos at the beginning of the month, every month. But if you wait, you're letting other people get in line ahead of you. You're letting dealers use more allocations that maybe will not be shared with you if that becomes a thing. You know, if this Dodge shutdown turns into uh, two months, three months, allocations are gonna disappear. They're, you know, they've only got 12 months in a year and if you start taking away whole months, you know, their ability to produce, just like the, the CA Corvette, just like the CA Corvette, they were trying to build about 40,000, they're only able to build a little bit more than 20,000 because there was just so much time shut down from the workers' strike, from the pandemic, obviously, and then also just the shortages that we experienced as well. So. With that being said, I think option two might be the weakest. Now, option three is as follows, and we're gonna go over here and jump on the Dodge website as well as cars.com to talk option three. So option three is instead of ordering the exact car you want, it is to go ahead and find the car you want. Now, easier said than done in some situations. So you got two, you got two different ways of doing it. Well, three, but two smart ways. First smart way, arguably the smartest, is going on the Dodge website and choosing the vehicle you want. And then you, so let's say we're gonna do the 2021 Dodge Charger, because let's look at inventory numbers real quick. <clears throat> there are only less than 300 scat pack 2020s left in the nation according to cars.com. And that's narrow bodies and wide bodies, less than 300. A couple months ago, that was over a thousand. Now, the 2021s, both narrow bodies and wide bodies, this is sorted for scat pack. There's over 1,000 2021s, narrow body and wide body, on the lots. So your chance of finding a 2021 that you like is way higher than a 2020 at this point. You know, ship has kind of sailed on the 2020s, except for a few, few diamonds in the rough here. With that being said, back to Dodge.com. We're going to go ahead and look at the 2021 Dodge Charger. We're gonna go ahead and search new inventory. Oh shoot, okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and search new inventory because this is this is gonna be the best way for you to get the exact car you want as if you ordered it from the factory. Stick with me here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your zip code in. I forget what zip code is. This might be a Detroit zip code. I can't really remember. <clears throat> you're gonna increase your search radius, ideally all the way up to 250 miles so you actually get a good idea then you can actually go down and you can basically build your car here on the left as if you were building it at the dealership or on the dodge website so if you want you know if you want real quick if you want a scat pack wide body go ahead and click that obviously within 250 miles of this zip code there's 102 exact matches that's not bad so 102 scat pack wide bodies a lot of these are on the dealer lot and that's one of the beauties of this website is that it actually tells you if it's on the lot or not now some of them will say in transit like this one says in transit right here so just be aware of that but again if it's in transit or on the lot you know we can play ball here now it, the, the difference would be if you order it yourself it's not even created yet. They're, they haven't even assigned it a VIN yet and you have to wait all the time for the plants and for all these suppliers and the shippers. The shippers is the problem I'm having right now. But anyway, that's, that's for another video. 
So the beauty of this website is that you can actually go add the different packages you want to. So for all you, all you technology boys out there, all you whatever it may be, I would say the two biggest ones I get uh, requested are the Harman Kardon and then let's go ahead and toss the sunroof on there too if uh if i can see that i don't see that on here maybe i'm just missing it like that like that okay let's uh let's say boom we'll do driver convenience group too okay so like you see here harman kardon and the driver convenience group say those are the two things you want now you have all the options right here of cars that you can pick from all you got to do is then say okay i want this one right here this one looks dope uh let's go view vehicle details and this will show you the entire car usually i think it can actually pull it up on the yeah view on dealer website you can even view it to see what their price is to see if they're factoring the power dollars they got a dealer discount uh employee discount uh this one's got the red and ooh, this one is I don't know, someone better buy this one quick because this one's nice. It's got a sunroof as well. Whew, that's a good looking car right there. Red interior, white exterior, got the devil's rims there, red brake calipers, I do recommend those. Um, all right, so basically, that is what I recommend to you guys. I would recommend basically using this Dodge website tool to find the 2021 that is close, if not the exact specs that you want and or go ahead and use cars.com but i would say the dodge website like we just did and then jumping onto the dealer website basically once you see one you like if you like the hell raisin with the black interior or whatever jump on here then view it on the dealer website because the dodge that dodge website does not show you the detailed pricing which is where you're going to want to really you know jump in and see uh see what's going on here so that is basically the flow of it. I I hope they open the plant back up at the end of January, early February, and it just starts boom cruising again. But like, like I made a video about this probably a couple weeks ago about how you know just because every, the vaccines out, just because we got these stimulus packages out, just because we got all this other stuff out, does not mean that these production facilities are humming away, crushing, you know, they're not they're not max production of these cars because semiconductors aren't everywhere. And they're, they're in the Apple AirPods Pro we're giving away, they're in your computer, they're in your cell phone, they're in your car, they're in everything. So all these little nicks and knacks are slowing things down. All right, well, that's basically the video. Do not forget to get your $30 for free just by signing up for M1 Finance. That is my favorite app for buying fractional shares. Yeah, as you guys might know, Tesla is over $800 a share, and a lot of us don't necessarily wanna be like, oh, I wanna buy an $800 share of Tesla. I just wanna be exposed to that growth, to the moon, because Tesla's going to the moon. So, M1 Finance, I have it on my phone. I really enjoy it. You just put $100 in to start trading and then they'll give you $30 on top of that. It also helps me out, supports the channel as well. And then you can go buy $130 worth of Tesla instead of going to a different app like Robinhood, which I would not recommend. And, you know, basically having to buy a full share of Tesla and spend 850 bucks. But you can do that as well. But all right, the link for that is below in the description and in the pinned comment. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay safe out there. Keep letting me know if you see these shutdowns or any other Dodge news, Chevy news, Ford news, whatever it may be, JDM news for you JDM cats out there. I really enjoy getting emails from you guys with like really specific information. Order updates if you guys are receiving orders, anything like that. Let me know. Send me pictures. We had uh, Darren. He received his Go Mango Hellcat Red Eye already. I don't know how he pulled that off. Super jealous because, uh, you know, I've been here waiting for like five months. Well, all right. I'm going to be throwing up the website today um, so you guys can have access to some of the tools we use in this video. Check on that, and I will see you guys later for another video. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you next time.